Ooh, Chip or Treat. That must be the new game that... Oh. Hmm, nope, it's just promotions. Oh well, I guess that means I could finally play the lava game. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my patrons for making today's video possible. More on that later. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas, hope you're doing well. We're gonna be playing some Lava Rush today on my Vegas, so we loaded up the old Blue Stacks emulator over here just to see how good this game is. We usually play these games down to 100 just to see what the rough payback percentage is on the new games that you can play on the iPhone and nowadays on myvegas.com. So you can earn your points via spins if you have to, if you're not waiting on a timer. So then you're kind of forced to bet a little higher and do a few things. So we're gonna go ahead and see which one of these games really lasts us the longest, and Lava Rush is our subject for today. So let's get started. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, so looks like we are going to be playing over here. Mega is... nope. Okay, there's the Mega. Okay, 7 million it is to get the Mega on this game over here. We're starting with 6,618,197,882 chips. So, we're shooting for this Mega over here. Maybe we'll get 300 million out of it. Maybe we won't. I guess we'll find out. I've got 100 spins on the clock, and I'm ready to do this. On our marks, get set, ready, and go. Alright, there's our first spin there, just to start things off. Doesn't look like it's going to be none too much of anything but these first spins rarely are. So the goal on this one, from what I understand, is a rising wild over here. So it looks like we got a rising wild. Um, looks like we've got a goal to get to eight wilds before we run out of spins over here, and then we're forced to calculate. And it looks like it's actually charging us for every spin over here, so if we don't win, we're still getting charged, which is fine. It's only been the first seven spins or so. It's not free spins though, that's a little disappointing, I was hoping that it'd be free spins, but we just doubled up our wilds over there. Oh, there's an extra, so let's go ahead and see how this pays out. Alright, we got wilds everywhere on this one. And big win, big win, 12 million, not too bad. Not too bad for the first 10 spins there. Even though we did lose something like 70 million on that uh, whole little exchange there. And, oh, is that a bonus chest? Let's see. No, it is not a bonus chest. That's a pity, because we could have used that. Oh, well. It's not really about winning or losing on... Oh, what's this? Oh, Magma Core Retrigger. So we got some sort of fireball in the middle over here. And it seems to have raised up the um, Rising Wild over here, so we get to retrigger that again, too. And it's a bigger reel in the center over here. So let's see how well it does if it's going to keep re-triggering like this. And the tiki's don't seem to do much of anything. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of. Oh, it's a blue tiki though. So what's blue tiki boosted though? What does that do? So I guess it's boosting uh, boosting our wilds maybe. And then we got oh, so you can trigger it once you get up to eight wilds over here. That's interesting, and it's going to rise it up a little bit more. And hopefully we'll get some bigger wins on this. So we get a couple more spins where we're getting the Raising Wilds. And then, oh, that actually rose it up to the top. What happens when we fill this up? Do we get all wilds? No, no, we did not. But we got a bunch of toucans in here. And this is an all wild set here. Let's go. Okay, there's a win. There's a big win over here. 105 million, not bad. So we almost made something back. We're almost back up to our uh, maximum here. So we got our first task done. And we're going to be going forward a little farther. So here we go. I think we're about 23, 24 spins in at this point. I'm barely counting. Just kind of doing the clicker right now. You guys probably can't hear it because it's a digital one. I've given up on my physical clicker. I just downloaded one. Oh, we got a double magma core over here. What does happens when you get two of them? Because there were two of them there, so it brings it up. Oh, it brings it up a lot of levels. So we could really fill in this whole, uh, and then it dropped in. Oh, it dropped in the mini jackpot. That's what's up. Okay. Double. Okay. So we want as many magma cores as we can get. I'd love to get that one there. So maybe if we get. Oh, we didn't get any wilds, though. What a pity. So if we got some wilds, we could have raised that up even further. 
and done some more damage maybe with another magma core that's what I'm guessing so let's see here and I think we're about 30 odd spins in here but we got another magma core I'm not sure what does the what happens with the bonus it either gives us free spins I'm guessing or it does something where it fills up one of the container or one of the cores in the volcano over here one of the two I feel like this should have been the gimmick for the Mirage game. Maybe they could do a refresh Mirage game where it focuses on the volcano a little bit more. Let's see. Okay. And now we're going to go for those other Tiki's over there. But I think the big thing that I'm really kind of excited about right now, other than... Uh, oh, hang on. Maybe a bonus? I'm excited. No, I'm not excited about a bonus because it's not going to give me one. <laughs> but I am excited about Cosmo potentially joining the My Vegas family, depending on how things are going. I wrote a video... It's in the pipe. I'm hopefully going to actually have it out Wednesday. Uh, work has been a Oh, yo! Triple Magma Core! No! 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 What's this going to do? Oh, that's it? Why did that only... Oh, wait, hang on. What was that? What's the Tiki's do? Oh, okay. That's what the Tiki does. Man, that was a lot of do. So the double mag Magma Core last time took me up to, like midway through and that time the magma core didn't do anything that didn't even okay so this time it triggered last time it didn't trigger you guys saw that other magma core that didn't trigger right so did it forget to trigger I don't know very strange very strange well anyway enough about that still kind of thinking about Cosmo so yeah again pricing what anytime I want to talk about Cosmo this thing's stopping me. I wonder if the game knows something about Cosmo that I don't right now. And about how it may or may not be involved with my Vegas in the future. Again, whipping up a video. Uh, it's in the editing stages right now. I'm editing that in the other window while I'm filming this. And I'll probably still release this first because I like the sound of hashtag my Vegas Mondays. So we'll be doing that first. And hopefully I'll have that up by Wednesday. Uh, work has been a little more demanding than usual, and Red Tiki bonus, what does that do? The Red Tiki boosted. Does that mean we get more Tikis? Or is it just more wilds? I guess we'll find out. A lot of wilds here, though. Oh, man, if only those races in the middle. What a pity. That wasn't too much of anything. This game threatens you with a lot of... Uh, a lot of bonus looking things and a lot of features, but there's just not a lot to it. A little bit of a shame there. Really feels like I'm doing something sometimes, but yeah, the slots here are just super, super tight. That's a pity. Yeah, this, uh. Oh, we got another Rising Wild. Let's go. The re trigger. I was hoping this would be uh, a little bit of a cheaper game to play, too, honestly. But, no, it's just not. It's just not. That's just how it is. Sometimes I know these will reward big bets, and it just doesn't look like it's happening today. But I'm not really doing a big bet. I guess it's only 7 million. Bet what you can afford, the way I figure it. And two more wilds. Oh, we're almost maxed out. Can we possibly get one more miner with that uh, with that push up there mm, oh we got lava wild and then we got the mini okay so if we can get it to push up then at least we get the the jackpot so that's great and that's the last of the retriggers so at least we got that so we got something like 50 million out of that that's not awful that's not awful And let's see here. We're getting close. Oh, we got another magma core here that didn't trigger for some reason. I guess they don't automatically trigger. That's such a strange feature to have. Why put the magma cores in if they're not going to trigger? Did they only happen in multiples? No, because I'm pretty sure I saw a single one go off before. One of these days I'm going to figure out slot machines. One of these days. And no bonus on that one either. This is not looking like it's going to be a strong, casual game, my spinners and jerks. So if you only have a few minutes to play on the My Vegas website, I might warn you against this one initially. I 
wonder if anything, if I click anything, if something interesting happens. I don't see any Easter eggs offhandedly either. The vertical ones are always interesting. Alright, let's go to the bat belt now. 108 pay lines, that's interesting. I wonder how if I'll be able to do that. I think it's the first time I've played one of these games where I wasn't able to finish the whole challenge right away. Within the first hundred spins. And let's see, we're getting close. We're still on those rising wilds there. We've been getting a lot of those. Now we're down to the last ten spins, so we gotta get some serious. Oh, come on, come on! I was hoping those would rise some more, but I guess not. Alright, last ten spins, let's go. Ten. Oh! Nope, no bonus on that one. We very rarely get these last second bonuses, so I'm gonna temper my expectations. There we are. And we're coming up on our last five over here. This is five. It's number four. There's number three. Number two. And finally, our last one. Come on! Oh, be a bonus, be a bonus, be a bonus! No! Alright. So, I guess we'll go ahead and take a quick break, my spinners and sharks. We're gonna do some maths and we'll uh, count up the booty. Oh my, and as if just to mock me, my Vegas is offering me 56 million chips to offset my loss over here for $2.99. Gonna go ahead and close out of this over here. If I could unlike Lava Rush, I'd definitely do it right here. Honestly, we're looking at a bad game. We lost 443,145,600 chips, and what that equates to is a 36.69% payback percentage. This is... I'm, I'm not even sure if this is the worst game I've played on my Vegas, but... Even with the mini jackpots, there was just no way for me to catch up, and wow, I mean, I guess maybe it's one of those games you have to max bet on, and it's an all or nothing sort of game there, but I was expecting at least something of a payback percentage. I was getting at least something back with uh, Samba Drums, actually went really well, and Money Bolt we were doing eh, alright with when we were playing online, just kind of goofing around a little bit, so that was one of those deals uh, during the stream with pennies. But, uh, yeah, I'd say Lava Rush, that is probably the most anticlimactic game I've played. I'm not really super fond of the vertical games in the first place, because I usually play on emulator. And, uh, yeah, no, that's gonna get a... That's a no from me, dog. That's a no from me. Alright there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's gameplay and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a quick minute to thank our patrons, including our newest patron, Autumn H, who joined us as our first Vegas Virgin Tier member. Guys, yeah, it means the world to me that you've chosen to support me in this way and help the channel stay independent of the fluctuating whims of the YouTube algorithm. If you want to back Ace of Vegas on Patreon and help the channel grow, check out our link in the description box down below. But how was your experience with Lava Rush? Did you get a lousy payback percentage, or did I just have bad luck? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys.